All right, everybody. All right, everybody. I am here with Gibbles. I am Hardware, and I am doing day one of the IAE 2952. This was Drake Day. Uh, full disclosure: yesterday I did Drake Day, which was the day that Drake Day came out, and the audio sucked. So gonna do a run through real quick of Drake Day because uh, I don't think I actually stopped and looked at the Vulture anyway. So let's pretend today is the 18th and not the 19th and we'll go take a look at Drake and Gibbles his big head. Hey. And again, as always, this is my gold armor brought to you by Overspending. And we are in the middle of the Drake Hall. Come over here and take a gander at the map. A cool feature it tells you where all the stuff is at. You got one side hall and you have stuff downstairs and then obviously the main floor. <clears throat> so on the main floor, you have the brand new just released this patch, Drake Corsair. Drake's answer to the mid-range Explorer uh, version ship. And as always, Drake is very function over comfort. Uh, kind of built with duct tape and super glue. But they have big weapons. Big, big weapons. Uh, a lot of people are saying these things can shoot and have decent firepower. We'll do a full workaround at a later date looking at it. But they fly, uh, how do I put this delicately? Like a tub of shit. They do. They fly so bad, so slow. But it's kind of cool. I I'm not an asymmetric fan. I'm very symmetrical type of person but if you're looking at the ship right now again we'll look at this later you can tell that the left wing is longer than the right wing the right wing actually splits into two almost in an x-wing type formation where the left wing comes straight out like a b-wing from star wars so again not only is it a little asymmetrical with some of the outside armaments it is extremely asymmetrical when you have wing deployment but that is Drake's answer. Brand new. Well, I should say it was pledged four years ago, but brand new as in released and flyable uh, answer to the Explorer Edition ship. There is not three versions. They have three here to take up space. But uh, it's the new one. But again, we'll do a, a ship review of that later. This is, of course, the Drake Caterpillar. <clears throat> I am not going to do a tour of that one. At least not right now. Kind of like the 890 jump. I get in there, I get lost, and I fall out the ass under the thing. I can never <laughs> find my way around. So, the nice thing about the Drake Caterpillar is, A, it is the normal standard semi if you're into space trucking. Um, the cool thing about it is, is that Drake's Caterpillar will be fully modular. So each one of these rooms that you're looking at on both sides, well, actually, I think it's one room both sides so four modules plus the nose being five um we'll all have different modularity areas i have no idea what they're going to put in there but eventually if it doesn't want to be cargo you could supposed to be able to slap something else in there i think personally if you could turn this into a battleship and have four compartments of giant cannons to pull up alongside someone drop them and explode on them that would be pretty awesome uh, I don't see that coming, but you never know. But for now, uh, it does not work, just as a disclaimer, that these doors open down like they are, and you can see inside the intent of these is that they're an elevator. So they will close and the ship will be solid. They open down like it is now, where well, it's like a balcony, and the ship door will then lower like a cargo ra uh, cargo ramp down to the ground, you put your cargo in it, you raise it up, you load it into your ship. <clears throat> the cargo refactor, which is coming in 318, you are going to be able to load your own cargo or have it loaded for you. 
if you load your own it's however long it takes you if you have it loaded for you there will be a timer and an extra fee for the automation process of that just so you're aware of that as well but the intent Barry Kibbles is closing one of the doors or somebody did uh, the intent is to have you actually put your own cargo in these things What on Kills Island? What's up? Hey, Harper! Huh? Holy shit, you're loud. What's up? Oh, uh, what's going on? Hang on, I'm filming, so I gotta turn you down. You're like killing my ear. Hey, Harper! Huh? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Welcome, uh, Kel. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that is the Drake Caterpillar again. I'm not going to give a tour of it. I'll get lost. There's a couple guys that have them. Uh, one of our guys, at least one of them, has the Pirate Edition, which is a cool skin. You can only get the Pirate Edition for this ship specifically if you do one of the Wing Commander um, missions, where you have to do swarms and swarms of Vanduul. And then you have the option to then buy it again with the skin so don't think you're getting a free skin don't think you're only getting a skin you are actually buying a pirate caterpillar not a skin for your caterpillar just so you're aware actually like the look of the caterpillar it just you get lost so easy i can't handle it i 100 percent agree it's a cool semi trucker looking ship but I, I get so turned around, it, it hurts. It hurts my head. <clears throat> I like the pirate skin. Oh, uh, yeah, the pirate skin is titties. All right, this is the Drake Buccaneer. This is more or less kind of a starter ship, but it's not. But a starter-ish version. Uh, this ship has a lot of punch. It is made out of Legos and balsa wood. But if you don't get hit... This thing will slap the shit out of something. It's, it's a nice little... Uh, it's kind of like... I, I hate equating Star Wars ships, but if you're aware of the TIE Fighter, they were always called the Flying Coffins because they didn't have shields. They only had some lasers, and they had short range and no survivability. That's kind of what this is. It does have a shield, but it, it's not made to take a beating. It's made to give one or leave. Here we have the Drake Herald. <clears throat> this is... Uh, the only ship made, and I think the only ship offered right now, for exclusive data, mine, uh, data running. That's a game loop that has not been developed yet. That will be for people doing exploring and want to data run maps and Stargate locations. And if anybody finds the Bangle Carrier that we can rebuild, um, I'm sure there will be missions. But this thing is seriously an arrow with a huge ass engine on it and you put your data in it it's encrypted and secured so other people can't hack and get your information out of your ship if they stop you but this thing is just a, a, a one and done bullet you light it up it goes it goes fast it goes hard it gets to where it needs to go you unload your secrets and that's all there is to it it is not a fighter I'm sure it has some limited lasers. Yeah, you can see the gatling underneath the, the nose. But that that is, and there's looks like there's many wings. I, I don't know what those are. What are those size threes? Probably. But this thing is mainly, you get your shit and you leave. Period. That, this is not a stick-around ship. Again, it's built by Drake. So there's no survivability if you get caught in it. Not very much room inside. You're not going to get caught. No, that's a rocket with a cockpit. Yep. <clears throat> All right, now this is the new Drake Cutter. Uh, this is a fat pig. It is a starter ship and probably the best starter package you can buy at this point. For uh, $40, you can own a Drake Cutter. You can own the online version of the game. All the starter, packer, uh, all the starter package features. Uh, it's a good way to buy in, and right now it's lifetime insurance. So you can actually get a starter package for an account that you can do upgrades from. It is the newest ship that's been released as well as the Corsair. It was a 
No one told you about ship, so it was never in concept. It just popped out. Um, this is what the inside looks like. It has a little bit of cargo, walkway. It does have lights. Obviously, you can see very industrial, no ceilings, shown piping, shown uh, wires. What's the cargo space in this thing, you know? Uh, four SCU, eight SCU, something small. And it's only on those Magna locks. Obviously, you can stick whatever the hell you fit on the wall, on the floor. But the magna locks will only be there for secure to secure it. And then here's the front cockpit. One guy jumps in there and goes up. Now the funny thing about it, uh, here's a weapons rack. He's got one bed. No sleepovers. Mm. Right. Told, but maybe I'm not. Maybe that's not accurate. Hang on. That's inventory. There's a bed. I thought this thing had a shitter. It probably does somewhere. There's a few beds in there. This ship just looks weird. <laughs> I wonder if it takes human cargo in the future. Reminds me of flying loaf of bread. There it is. There's the shitter. It's kind of hidden. So you can shit and uh, shower. Yep. So Drake is not known for their luxuries. Most of their early ships don't even have any type of recreation, cleaning, or sleeping. But they're uh, starting to come out with it for most of their stuff, which is which is kind of nice to see. <laughs> All right, this is the one I didn't get a chance to look at yesterday much. I held off on it because I wanted to take some time and then started farting around with everybody and forgot to come back. This is the Drake Vulture. This is beautiful, this is sexy, and this is mine. Look at this motherfucker, oh my God. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> this thing is built to eat ships, uh, I believe you're going to be able to do more than hull scraping with this in time. But for right now, all you can do is hull scraping. But uh, how the graphic will look, uh, nobody knows yet. It is coming out in 318, so it should be coming out in a few weeks if they make the December deadline. It was supposed to be out with the IAE, and it didn't happen. But the uh, first Tier 0 of Salvage is working. So we'll see what this does, but <clears throat> the way I believe it happens is you have those those lasers back there. They shoot down here, and they start hull scraping, and these, I think, are like magnets and start sucking up all the debris, and either they suck them into the arm. Yeah, it looks like there's vacuum tubes, I'm guessing. I'm not an engineer, so if you're a plumber or an engineer, you can tell me something different. But it looks like it sucks them up into these canisters and sucks them up into the hull of the ship. And then if you come around... To, oh god, it just looks so fucking cool. You come around to the back here. Just like in the reclaimer, there's a nom nom room. This is a squishy room. So it looks like the debris comes down that hole. Comes into this thing. This thing compresses it into... Uh, metal composite MC is that what it's called? I'd have to double check and then it poops it out right here and then you can stack it in here and you have your, your salvage how much do they want for one of these? huh? how much do they want for one of these? this ship? yes I think it's 150 interesting not bad uh, well worth it as a level one uh, it's like the prospector for salvage this ship is epic got yourself a little bed it's a one-man operation you can go do some salvage 
Looks like a shitter and a shower, so you can shit and wash your ass at the same time. Your power plants and all. Here's all your power plants and modules. Here's your cockpit. Computer blades. Scanners, radars for upgrades later. Exit to z This says exit to zero G. Exit to rear, exit ship. And that'll be interesting to see what that means. If this cockpit opens up or what. One feature I do want to show is out here. And I think Gibbles jumped on it before... I, oh, fuck, I turned around. I think Gibbles jumped on it before I could. I believe there's a, yep, a ladder out here. Now this is the way construction equipment should look. I've climbed on a few myself. I never got to use them, but I've climbed on them when they're sitting out in the field. Uh, there's just ladders, and I think you should be able to climb this. I wish they would put ladders on more ships than what they do, because sometimes you get into a ship and the elevators are bugged or something like that, you're stuck and... Somebody climb this? I swear to God, somebody was. I know you can climb this. You have to. You got to be a little ways back before you click on the enter button. There we go. You're right. Because God forbid I can climb a ladder when I'm touching it versus being ten feet back. <laughs> These fucking dumbasses. So anyway, here now you're standing on the equipment, and I don't know what the hell you would do this. Oh, this must be why you exit the zero G. So that's what happens. This must open up as a door. And you can come out here and fix if, like, your salvage head blew or something. I don't know. I wouldn't stand right in front of this gun, though. you get your ass tore up. That will be some funny shit we'll have to do later. Is that a weapon right above the cockpit door? Above the cockpit door? Yeah, you were standing underneath it. Yeah, those are two, uh, they look like Gatlings. Laser repeaters, probably, I mean. So this is this is just kind of that cool construction feel. Drake looks industrial, but it has fighters and it has freighters. But Drake making construction equipment is 100% what Drake should be making look like industrial equipment. Because this is just badass. So, but I didn't make it. Anyway, that is the vulture. Like I said, I think it's about a buck and a half. That's a lot of ten, eh? For a buck and a half. It is. And that should be out in a couple weeks. Now, the one thing I want to take Gibbles, since he just got one, come with me down to the bowels of the center here. Now, they have had holograms of big ships before, big ships that are not developed. But usually those holograms are sharing rooms. A Perseus is sharing a room with a Polaris. An Idris is sharing a room with something. Today, Drake... Jesus, give us fuck like fat people. My uh, my shifter, what do you call it? The uh, sprint button doesn't work. So. Scroll your mouse button forward while you're moving. Start walking. There you go. I've noticed that I start kind of meandering, and then I realize I got to scroll the mouse wheel forward, and then you start kind of trotting. And then you sprint. <clears throat> what do you think of the Kraken? Krakens me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, now this, this is the Dragonfly, Drake Dragonfly. It's a hover bike. Nice thing about the Drake Dragonfly is it is a two-person. Uh, thankfully, it's not nuts to butts, it's butts to butts. So you'll have your pilot sitting in the front looking forward, and your passenger will be looking out the rear of the ship, or the hover bike. So, you know, you can go around with your buddies and not feel like... Uh, in you know, a certain way. Yeah, I got five or six of those. The thing that cracking. The thing that pisses me off a little bit about this display, and this is being a little snobby, but I have a Raven, which is um, coming up later, and they're allowing people to fly the Raven, and that is a ultra rare type of a ship, and they're letting people fly it around for free flight. There is no reason then that Drake shouldn't have the three variants of the Dragonfly. There should be the black Dragonfly, there should be a yellow, it's called a yellow jacket, and then the one that was done for a mini game uh, probably about five, six years ago is the Star Kitten, which is like Hello Kitty, and it is pink and all different colors. I'm not apt to necessarily want the pink, but it irritates me that I can't ever own it, so the collector in me wants it only because I'm told I can never have it. But either way, it should be on display. If you're going to display three bikes, you should display the three versions of the bike. I don't understand that. I think that was a lost opportunity. I'll run over here where Gibbles is climbing on the Drake Mule. I have one of these awesome little fucking things. These things actually turn like a tank. The wheels are like treads, so you can actually literally turn in a circle on a dime. It's pretty cool. But these are going to be your industrial forklifts. You can see the forklift in the front. These do not activate yet. At least I don't believe I've ever gotten them to activate um, because they're ready for the cargo refactor, but I don't know if they're going to work yet or not. But either way, it's I wonder, if, I wonder if you'll get one of those on the Kraken. Uh... The Kraken, the Kraken has a cargo lift, so should, yeah. And they'll probably be automated. But this is the Drake uh, forklift. And then in the butt back here, you can store stuff to carry. Sick. So now we'll go show Gibbles his toy. And the thing that's cool about this... This is the largest, most detailed hollow I've ever seen on the ship. This ship is amazeballs. Look at this thing. This is the Kraken. There is what is called the Kraken Privateer. Um, for those that prefer war, you want the Kraken because it has the space it has the cargo hold, whereas the privateer loses the cargo hold and a couple other things in lieu of having a mini mall as a modularity feature of that ship. Um, the, the special thing about the privateer is the privateer versus the Banu Merchantman. Uh, the Banu Merchantman, from what I understand, when you take the Banu Merchantman and you land on a planet and you set your beacon, people or players on that planet or in that planet's solar system, I'm not NASA, so I think it would be considered a solar system, not a solar system. Anyway, whatever planets and moons in that area, when that beacon goes up, that area gets notified that a, a Merchantman has landed and open for business. A Kraken, however... When it lands, it puts up a beacon. It is the entire system. So all of Stanton would be alerted if you had a privateer that your privateer is open for business. Whereas if I had a Banu merchantman, Hurston, and what's in the Hurston area would know. So that's the difference. And That's a beautiful ship. That is, that is a beautiful ship. Oh, yeah. Um, the... The sizes on the top are supposed to be, and I don't necessarily agree with it, maybe it's changed, but three small ships and two medium, 
And the interesting thing about the Kraken, real quick, I'm running out of time, is the flight area for the Kraken is not shielded. The Kraken itself has shields. So whatever ships land on the Kraken have to stay powered up so their shields will be activated and those ships will be defensible by their own shield units. If you power down your ships off and on the landing pad, your landing gear and stuff might be covered because obviously your shield systems are, let's just say, a foot or two above the hull. But otherwise, the Kraken itself shields itself. Whatever lands on it, you're on your own, just for future preference. Now, this is CIG. This could all change. It could turn into a giant globe of Death Star bubble of shields later. But that's the intent as of now. But this ship is amazing looking. I think it has scanners sufficient where you could scramble, right? You know, I don't know that much about the Kraken other than it's more of a traditional aircraft carrier than my Idris, which is considered an aircraft carrier. It's just the Idris is very smooth lines, clean, sleek, beautiful ship. The Kraken is very industrial, very, looks welded together, very like it's already been to war type of a ship. And so I just picked the Idris over the Kraken. But the Kraken holds more ships. The Idris only holds three. Holds them inside though, that's a difference in case people care. Because the Idris shields surround the entire Idris. And when the opening, when the landing uh, runways open for the front and the back, Anything that goes inside the Idris is obviously shielded by the Idris shields completely. Obviously, parking becomes an issue if you're in the front, in the back, or in the middle. If you're in the middle, you got to wait. So that's the downside of having an interior aircraft carrier versus the Kraken, which is an exterior aircraft carrier. But this is the ship. That's the Kraken octopus, or I should say squid to be more exact, but... That's the Kraken. It is awesome. Like it. And that is Drake Day. So, uh, I'm going to stop the recording now and go get ready for work. But I love it. Nice ship there, Gib. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>